Okay, what we have here this is a F14. I don't know what model. Anyway, I'm going to start with this. This is the camera. Uh, has a telephoto reflector. That's got to be radar. Even though there's a big radar here, the radar dome, but this is another type of uh, laser guided. Let's see what we have here. Beacon. Obviously, for uh, display purposes, this door right here is supposed to be open. But they close it because of the birds. They don't want birds to get nest. So if you notice right here, that's why it gets hooked up into the into the carrier for the steam catapult. And of course, there you have these lights over here. Let me see if those lights. They tell the landing officer the status of the aircraft. I mean, it's too high, it's too, or it's too low, it's too fast. What else can we find here? That's obviously the intake. Those over here, those are the ramp doors. Prevent shock waves when it's going supersonic. This is the famous uh, Phoenix missile. Everybody was scared of this aircraft because if that it, if that missile will explode next to you, you have not even a chance to uh, eject. You have your pilot and rear. Oh, what else? And I see that the earliest model had a, a what we call it a glow vein right in this area here. They deleted. And another curious thing over here. This this is the main landing gear. This gear, when it goes up, it's got to turn 90 degree into the well. That well right there is supposed to be open. But of course they close it up because they don't want birds to nest. What else we see here? External tank. Um, we have nav lights. This is the famous replica of uh, Sidewinder. This is the this is the replica of Sidewinder. This is a replica of the Sparrow. Infamous Sparrow that uh, sometimes locks and sometimes uh, don't hit the target now the landing gear we're curious about this landing gear of the f14 let me see if i could zoom in right over here you see that uh, right over there there is like a hook like an anchor to make this landing gear more sturdy because remember you're landing this tons of aircraft into a carrier and the pilot's got to hit the uh, full throttle in the way down so that landing gear better support a lot of weight now you see this little swivels here here and here those are hydraulics they're like a uh, they can move because that wheel needs to rotate so when that wheel rotates the whole thing rotates, but it still gives hydraulic power to the struts, to the lacking mechanism. So let's continue, 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 continue. Over here, another thing people don't get about the F-14, this section right here is a different color. It's an airbag. What happened is when this wing gets extended, that bag inflates to make up for the space of that wing to go in, make it more aerodynamic. Uh, now you could actually see the anchor hook that I'm talking about. Right where the spring is, right over there. That anchor with that linkage, it will, it will come out like the like the policy like the retract gear that anchor is going to drop and the gear has got to go that way Turn. of course you see the hinges right above the navy decal because that's access to the engine and of course this is the line for the engine intake 
This wing obviously is uh, is uh, retracted in the uh, stow position because you could actually see how the elevator can actually touch the um, main wing. On the top, I just have to show it to you on the computer. Something special going on underneath the, underneath the wing. I'll explain it to you later. Over here, you got your main leading edge. I'm sorry, your leading edge slides deploy. Of course, the wing has to be extended. Uh, nav lights, formation lights, big elevon. Of course, you will know what elevons is. It creates a row and vertic uh, going up and down. Uh, so it works like elevator and aileron. On top, I can't see it, but maybe later on I will tell you what's going on the top. See the bag that I'm talking about. I'll explain to you later. After burners, you see like the turkey feather opens and close. Obviously, there's no engine, there's just a picture of what's how the inside looks like. Over here, no may uh, vertical stabilizer. You see how it's bulge on one side because that's where the hydraulic actuator housing to move that that rudder. And you see how flat the back of the Air 14 is? It's like a pancake. And of course you got another vertical stabilizer, two afterburners. This aircraft sometimes or most of the time especially the early models they used to do flat spin why because look at the engine the engines are spread apart so if you have an engine failure this engine will produce more thrust so the aircraft goes into a yaw flat spin if you will uh, another thing this is the hook for the carrier landing and on top of there there's an air brake and on the bottom there's the other side of the so the air brake will open top and bottom over here you got your uh, fuel dump I believe this is some kind of ECM and uh, that's about it if you see it's a lot of panels how look at how wide it is over here it's a little chubby uh, big elevant with a uh, I believe that's ECM, electronic countermeasures. Uh, formation lights, now, and this is now lights. What else we got here? Same thing as the other side. Uh, formation lights. Fin to keep it, keep that aircraft straight at low airspeed. Um, what else? What else? Do I see again. Sparrow imitation, sidewinder imitation. We have this big, big wing that actually expand. I forgot how many degree. That's the fuel tank, external fuel tank, Phoenix gun missile, and this is the this is like a uh, missile holder for another Phoenix missile. Uh, nav lights Of course, this is where the pilot goes in You have this uh, You press that you turn it you bring it down. There's like a building steps and That's the exhaust for the cannon So there's exhaust for the cannon, which is, is the cannon right here Right here obviously they seal it up because they don't want birds to nest in here that's an interesting uh, AOA, angle of attack sensor. Uh, the tip that you don't see here is right over here, right above 101. Right there, there's a refueling probe that actually expand, uh, extend and retract. So that means that door right here has to open first and then the whole arm comes up. And then the door closes behind. Pedostatic. Uh, 
And by the way, I think that's for the air conditioning unit, that little air intake. And that's about it. Quick tour of the F-14, famous F-14. Actually, you get a better, a better picture of the refueling, retractable refueling pros. It's so funny too, not funny, but it's curious how the nav light is facing that way on that side of the vertical stabilizer, but on this side is facing this way. That's a little detail in case you're building this model. And that concludes the walk around of the famous F-14.